Hello everyone, welcome back. I know I haven't recorded in a while, but we're back to how to date a magical girl. So first we're gonna check the schedule and see what's going on. We got Hikri, Yui, Miu, and Kaori. So everyone's unavailable at night. Yui's unavailable all day. And Kiri is unavailable during the evening. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Kitty star tip of the day. People like different kinds of foods. So be sure to remember what they like and really like and what they dislike. Thank you. Uh, check calendar today is April 30th. Ooh. Which means today's home room. I don't get that, but let's just go straight to the school. Good morning, Sadie. Did you enjoy the rest of your weekend? Mm, yeah, it was good. Thank you. Thanks for asking. How was yours? One, two. Acceptable. I caught up on my studies and practiced violin. Violin? Huh, that sounds pretty cool. Indeed. Do you play any instruments? Well, no. I see. I feel like my skill set <laughs> pales in comparison to yours, Miu. Hmm. Hmm? And that kind of thing doesn't matter to me. Really? However, I have a lot of respect. I have a lot of respect for people that study hard. Good grades are very important to me. Good grades, huh? In fact, if I were to ever date anybody, they would have to rival me in terms of academic effort. I wouldn't have any... I wouldn't accept anyone that didn't excel in their studies and perform well on exams. Interesting. I'll keep that in mind. Very well. Anyway, you enjoy your classes today? Thanks. Study hard. School is finished for the day. How should I spend my evening? I know I have a book, but let's check. And it's the evening. And I can go to the hallway and classroom, but I'm not going to go. I'm going to travel to... Hmm. I don't think I'm going to earn some money. Okay, so I worked, so let's read my book. Oh, damn, I should've went to the library. Uh, can I travel anywhere? I can't. School's closed, so I need to go to the library tomorrow. How's my skills? Inventory? No. Uh, status? Yeah, status. So I think I might do experience next. Maybe just so I could start earning a little bit of it, more money. I don't know. Oh, it's about to hit record. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Five for the first. You first. Hmm. Let's check the schedule. So. Ooh, he could be in you, we are not available. Interesting. Let's check the calendar. Ooh, learn a new potion. Learn a new potion. That's interesting. I learned potions today. I mean, during the week. So maybe I should, um, do a, uh, Satan, I guess I'm sleeping. Big night watching horror films, hey? Oh, how did you know? Well, you told me that it's your hobby, so. Uh, that's right. <laughs> You're right, of course. So, Yui, do you remember when you told me about trying to find someone to date before New Year's Eve? Hmm. Yes, I do remember. Why do you ask? Well, I wanted to know what exactly do you look for some look for in someone? I like quiet and shy people, just like myself, I suppose. But they have to be passionate about the same things as me, not just horror films and scary stories. 
put all metal of a cold object. And I really like it to have a nice alchemy, just like me. There's something romantic about the thought of slipping into the love potions and winning the night, the night going down. Intense. Mm-hmm. I think I overshot a bit. It's okay. I'm happy to know. Thank you. Mm-hmm. I head up to the roof to have lunch with Yuki and Yuri as usual. To my surprise, the girls are nowhere to be found. Well, I guess I'm eating alone today. I take my seat in the usual spot, only to find something out of the ordinary. An unfamiliar girl sitting at the edge of the rooftop, staring over the rail, lost in her own thoughts. The girl is tall, tan, with short, dark hair. She's definitely the tomboy type. She seems to be right at home playing soccer and socializing with a large group of friends. I'm surprised to see someone like her up here alone. I have to expect to see a big group of her friends coming up the stairs any minute, but she's definitely all alone up here. Somehow she must have sensed me staring at her because she turned to look at me. And I got my picture. Ray Shizumi. Oh, hey, what's up? Uh, sorry, I just saw you standing here alone and wondering why, wondering if you're okay. You worrying about me? Aw, oh, that's super cute. I'm all good. I'm all good, but thanks for asking. I'm glad to hear that. Um, I'm Sadie, by the way. I haven't seen you around. Are you a first year too? Nah, I'm a third year. My name's Ray. The name's Ray. I thought you looked a little young. You're a first year, huh? Man, I miss the days as a first year. I had so much energy. <laughs> Ray flashes me a goofy smile, and I somehow intensely feel comfortable around her. She fin She has this familiar warming presence. She's the complete opposite of me, who tenderly felt cold and standoffish. But hold up, yo, what are you doing up here? I usually lunch here with my friends, but they didn't join me today. <laughs> Bummer, that sucks. I know. I know. <laughs> Let's eat together. Rhea holds out a sandwich she's been gently nibbling on and offers it to me. <laughs> Try this. The best damn thing you ever taste. I look at the sandwich in disbelief. It looks pretty ordinary. Maybe some special recipe sauce? Go on, don't be shy. Take a bite. And I die. Oh, wow, that's a... I kind of like her art style this way more. I lean forward hesitantly and taking a cautious bite of, from the sandwich. It tastes just like I expected it to be. It would. It's pretty bland, but I feel like I should at least act impressed. <laughs> yum. Oh, yum. That's delicious. I... It... It... Uh, Oh, ain't it just my old ma used to make sandwiches like this for me back when I was a sick kid. Whenever I eat it, then now I get transported right back to the good old days. Rhea, Ray's, I like her. Ray smiled turned to an expression of curiosity when she looks at the lunch I'm holding. Hmm, what you got there? Um, just, it's just instant ramen. The college student died. Sweet, count me in. Got any spare pork, uh, uh chopsticks? No, sorry. <laughs> no problem. I just dig with my fingers. Bon appetit. Ray dips her hand heel right into the hot cup of instant ramen, pulls out a fistful of noodles, and slurps them down in a second. Just when I thought I'd maybe meet someone somewhat normal, my worldview is completely shattered. Anybody normal at this damn academy? Well, all in all, Ray seems like a good person, even if she's a bit bored. I decide to just go with the flow and play along with lunch. Ray's lunchtime fantasies. Give me another bite of that sandwich. <laughs> Roger that. She laughs like a mannequin and tears off a piece of her sandwich before throwing it at my face. I manage to catch it in my mouth as she claps enthusiastically. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Our lunch time fun is interrupted all of a sudden by a voice from the stairwell. And what do you two think you're doing up here? We turn to see who it is. Honestly, I've been looking everywhere for you. Looking you everywhere. I didn't think you'd be up here. Hmm, it seems that Mia's been trying to find you. Sorry, Mia, I had no idea you were looking for me. Mia just frowns. I wasn't talking to you. Ray, you know we were going over your studies today, but instead you're out here throwing food around. <laughs> oh, geez, sorry, Mimi. Well, you two know each other? Hehe, <laughs> Mia's my bestest buddy in the whole world. Or something like that. 
It's the revelation I never saw coming. A plot to a so expected, unexpected, so out of place that it, it just destroyed my entire perspective of the world. This world. Eve's perfect school princess it, the be is best friends with Ray, the happier, lucky tomboy. I have to pinch myself to make sure I'm not dreaming. Sadie, stop pinching yourself. You'll bruise your skin. Well, Ray, there's some, still some time before lunch ends. Do you want to go over the meal notes? I cannot talk. Oh, but I was having sure. But I was having so fun up here. You can have your fun after you've improved your grade. Yeah, I guess so. Well, I guess there's nothing else for it. See you around, Sadie. Thanks for chilling with me. Yeah, I had fun. Good luck with your studies. You shoots me an icy glare. I don't forget that you should be studying too. Your first set of exams will be here before you know it. I don't want to be disappointed with your results. I hang my head in shame since me. Uh, uh, since when was me able to make me feel so guilty? The girls enter the stairwell and I'm left alone on the rooftop. Key structure of the day. Sucker potions are intended to be sold for cash. Sucker, oh, sucker potions are intended. Oh, okay. So I can just make potions. Well, then, I know what I could be doing to make money instead of working. I'd like to return a book, please. Thank you. Oh, thank you. You may now borrow another book. Um, magic. I don't have any. I haven't studied alchemy yet. Wait, what? So, okay, so I guess alchemy. I'm clever. Okay, so I already did that one. And I like to go home. Okay, so I earned enough money to buy the first car thing, I think. Yep. Yeah, let's read it. Yeah. Okay, I'm back. Um, I basically what I did was I worked and then I got seven hundred. I watched a guy put ramen into uh ramen put water into a thing of hot ramen and just eat in front of another customer as the customer is trying to get in but I'm able to buy this one item that I think I can give to you not not Yui I just forgot her name that sucks me I uh, know maybe it was you I don't remember as I'm on I don't know as I'm on my way to my first class, I run into Kiri in the hallway. Hey, what are we going, uh... I mean, what a pleasure it is to see you this morning. Hey, Kiri. How are you doing? I'm all. I actually have been window shopping before school. Oh, uh, yeah? What do you have your eye on? Well, it's not like you'd care. There's a really nice pair of gloves on sale. I should have enough money by next week to get, get them. Hmm. Nice. Are you pinching pennies to save up? Pinching pennies? How dare you? I'm not some peasant. I come from a very wealthy family, I'll have you know. Um, I just, my assets are tied up right now, and you know, I'm planning to speak with my financial advisor very soon. Ah, I see. Well, I hope you get your gloves soon. Th thank you. I can't put my finger on your financial situation. Are you rich just like me, or were you born in the gutter? Um, neither? Neither? What is neither supposed to mean? Don't tell me you're middle class. Well, I guess I am. I never really thought about it. How dreadful. Oh, I have newfound pity for you now. Jeez, thanks. You know, if you ever wanted to move up in the world, you've got a long way to go from middle class. I suppose uh, I suggest getting a part-time job or a three. That wealth, how would you expect to capture the heart of a pretty young, pretty girl? I, for one, would never date a middle class nobody. But you would date a lower class nobody. I'll keep that in mind. Make sure you do. 
and so this is where the girls tell me what they like and dislike. As, in, as I sit in class today, I remember the conversation with me and Ray from yesterday. I can't help but feel the pressure of music um, expectations on my shoulder. shoulders. Ah, she wants me to study hard to get good grades and ace my exams. But the way of her expectations is making it even harder to actually concentrate on studying. I feel like I'm going to disappoint her no matter what. If I don't do well on my exams, will I fail at the academy? If I'm going to spend so much time here, I should at least put a little effort. So from today on, I'm going to make use of my time. I'm going to study hard and make everyone proud of me. I can now travel to the lab, field, and park. Ooh, that's awesome. I guess the lab's balcony. When I reach the school gates, I'm surprised to see no less than five girls waiting for me. It seems Ray, my newest friend, has joined my lovely harem. Yo, I can't I can't believe you got so many girls waiting for you. Are you a little heartbreaker? What's the deal? Sadie is just Sadie. Ray, how would you guess that these were my friends? Mimi told me, of course. I introduced Ray to everyone this afternoon. I figured I couldn't keep her ex existence a secret any longer. I hope that's okay. Mimi, why are you going to talk like you're ashamed of me? I'm not ashamed of you, Ray. I just, just, I wish you worked harder. But Oh, it, it was you, I was right. My, our group suddenly has gotten lively. I never expected to make so many friends at the academy. I hardly made any friends my first year here, and yet you meet all each other so quickly. Don't worry, cutie. You're part of a group now. It doesn't matter if you're second year. We still love you. Thanks, Hikari. I'm glad uh, to have so many friends now, even if some of them are completely it. Nope, don't say it. <laughs> well, well. anyway, Sadie, <laughs> you gotta choose one of us. Huh? Well, uh, what are you talking about? Oh, you know, it's pretty damn clear that Sadie just wants us for our bodies, but you gotta pick. You can't have all of us. I freeze in fear. This is a trap. This is a trap. This is a trap. This is a trap. Don't answer the question. Don't answer the question. Don't answer the... I... I like being friends with all of you. Rhea shuffle around, shuffles around before bursting into a fiddle lap. Yo, I tell you, how you going? <laughs> you should have seen the look on your face. There's a girl's visibly relaxed. I can tell they weren't in on the joke. Relieved that Ray wasn't serious, I feel like I can't let my guard down. But seriously, I can play hard to get, okay? <laughs> Don't think I'm easy. If you want to get with me, you better treat me right. <laughs> the, rest of the, girls the rest of the girls giggle, I cannot talk, giggle with her. It definitely seems like Ray is the life of the party. I thought that maybe my days could be peaceful, but as long as these girls are around, I don't think I'm going to get any rest. Oh well, I'm pretty sure this is what I've wanted. Anyways, five lovely ladies that all s seem to tolerate me, at least. Picking one would be a tough choice, but I vowed to have a girlfriend by the end of the new year. That's my goal, and I'm sticking to it. If I focus on one of these girls, I could probably woo her and try to win her heart. Let the challenge begin. Ray has now robot to spend time with. I could check the schedule to, schedule to see where she hangs out. So, let's check the schedule. Um, okay, so all of them are not available, and I kind of want to go to that one, too. Key start to put the date. Visit Marceline in the school hall if you're unsure how game features work. I'm going to go to the lab. Is that? I'm going to focus on Yui. Mr. Stein's here today. What should I do? Let's talk to Mr. Stein, because I've been wanting to. Actually, you know what? Let's see what happens next time on how to date a magical girl thank you guys for joining if you want to see what i do next then you gotta wait and see have a lovely day